the road is officially done. And we are super excited about that because no more bumping down our road. And uh, honestly, it was like stressful just to like go and come. We felt like we couldn't like leave and come back like as many times as we needed to during the day. Not like we leave a whole lot, but it was just like, oh God, I gotta drive down that road again. Uh, no more because now our road looks like a real gravel road. We put that final uh, top coat of gravel, we saved up for it and um, got it on and made the smooth the whole road out and it's great. In addition, we did all the drainage that you just saw of water that was collecting on the side of the road. So we've tamed all that drainage and we were waiting until that happened because that was messing up the road. So now that we have that under control, we're not gonna be throwing money away in time by finishing it off. So you can see this stuff, what's on the road right now is it's a it's called a two minus so all the biggest rocks here are less two inches or less and all this that you see right here this these little this like dirt and kind of mucky stuff that's called fines um so what that is that's the rock dust when they're sifting and crushing rock it produces a lot of this dust it pulverizes a lot of rock and that's a really useful uh byproduct to use when you're making roads because it compacts down so it's not loose as you can see when i walk around on this you see where the tracks are this is just solid packed down with that with that rock dust so you don't lose your stone um it stays put better and it makes a nice solid impermeable road which is what we want we don't want this road to be permeable we want water to shed off of it we do not want water to travel down inside of it, at least not this particular type of road. There are good uses for permeable roads, but not this one. We're standing right now on top of one of the new culverts I put in, which uh, we are using to take all this water that travels down the woods. There's like a whole wet area that comes down these woods here because up above our property, there's an area that collects a lot of runoff from the dirt road up there and just the way the ground is contoured, you have these like, there's a the collection point up there. For a lot of the year, it's kind of swampy. And what that ends up doing is it, it's, it just collects there and it slowly makes its way down the hill to our property and then just kind of trickles down steadily and then creates this kind of wetland sort of area up there and eventually just makes it down to our road and just collects down here because this is where it turns flat. So this is the collection point. So this was a big challenge. Uh, so what I ended up doing was we dug, I dug two channels in the woods up there that have a confluence and that captured all that water. I went out and I scoped out exactly where that, how far to the east and west that water was coming down. And then I dug those channels, those ditches to capture it all and then bring it to this confluence, which is right up around the corner, up this little hill. And then it comes down here. So this ditch comes off the hill sideways and almost runs parallel to the road because what happens right here is that this is the bottom of the hill. This is the big challenge that at the bottom of the hill, I don't have any more grade and I needed to get the water to over there and it's coming down from behind me about 50 feet. So I'm cutting very gradually down the hill in this trench that I dug, the excavator. And it comes down, 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 down. Makes its way into this culvert. And I also have a trench dug down the road this way. So it meets here and then it goes in this culvert. And again, I'm fighting grade here because we are flat from here on out. So I got a slight grade going from this side of the road to this side of the road down out of the culvert on this side and then into here this was all just totally flat so what i had to do was i took uh between the excavator and the skid steer i just made this like wide channel that has an ever so slight amount of grade down to where you see that clearing over there and i just kind of dug that out with the excavator to get that a little bit lower and to basically make like a collection pond the soil here in this area is extremely permeable. Even when I send all this water down there, it doesn't turn into like a nasty mosquito pond because it only takes a few hours for that to permeate into the ground. So it just becomes a, like a collection pool while it's raining hard. And then once it stops raining, it all just goes down into the ground. So luckily 
we're able to solve this problem in this way. In order to even get the culvert up to this grade or even be able to like make this work, I had to build the road up really high because I couldn't dig the culvert down because I would have been below grade over here. And actually I'll grab the camera and show you what I mean by that. Look how high I had to build up that road. That was, you know, not a little bit of money in rock. That cost some money. But that's what had to be done because if I had dug that culvert down into the ground and didn't put all that rock on top, I would have ended up being below grade here and I wouldn't have been able to get all that water to flow all the way down there. I can't express how happy we are to have this road. I never thought I'd take a road for granted, but never again. Now we can cruise in and out. I speed tested it, got up to 50 miles an hour and it was just fine. So this is awesome.